For three days, we waited until Amanda was sick enough to receive standard abortion care. Eventually, Amanda's temperature spiked. She was shaking, disoriented, and crashing. I don't remember what I threw into our bag that day, only that instead of welcoming Willow, I was hoping Amanda's life could be saved. I'm here tonight because the fight for reproductive rights isn't just a woman's fight. This is about fighting. This is about fighting for our families. And as Kamala Harris says, our future. Every time I share our story, my heart breaks. For the baby girl we wanted desperately, for the doctors and nurses who couldn't help me deliver her safely, for Josh, who feared he would lose me too. But I was lucky. I lived. So I'll continue sharing our story, standing with women and families across the country. Today, because of Donald Trump, more than one in three women of reproductive age in America lives under an abortion ban. A second Trump term would rip away even more of our rights. Passing a national abortion ban, letting states monitor pregnancies and prosecute doctors, restricting birth control, and fertility treatments. We cannot let that happen. We need to vote as if lives depend on it, because they do. Two years ago, my husband and I were expecting our second child. Our daughter, Lauren, couldn't wait to be a big sister. I was getting ready for her fourth birthday party when something didn't feel right. Two emergency rooms sent me away. Because of Louisiana's abortion ban, no one would confirm that I was miscarrying. I was in pain, bleeding so much my husband feared for my life. No woman should experience what I endured but too many have. They write to me saying, what happened to you happened to me. Sometimes they're miscarrying, scared to tell anyone, even their doctors. Our daughters deserve better. America deserves better. <laughs> Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz will fight for reproductive rights and our freedom and our shared future. Growing up, I was an all-American girl. Varsity soccer captain, cheerleading captain, homecoming queen, and survivor. I was raped by my stepfather after years of sexual abuse. At age 12, I took my first pregnancy test, and it was positive. That was the first time I was ever told, you have options. I can't imagine not having a choice, but today, that's the reality for many women and girls across the country because of Donald Trump's abortion bans. He calls it a beautiful thing. What is so beautiful about a child having to carry her parent's child? There are other survivors out there who have no options. 
And I want you to know that we see you. We hear you. a national law to restore the right to an abortion. She will fight for every woman and every girl, even those who are not fighting for her.